Welcome, public inventors. What if you could take the idea of a propeller, either a screw in water or moving foils in air, and invert the idea? Instead of having whirling blades, we make a shape that is the opposite, the softest, smoothest, least sharp shape that we can imagine, and still obtain propulsion from it. Such a propeller would be safer to be around for people, manatees, whales, and fish. Even if such a propeller were less efficient than a screw or helicopter blades, it would no doubt have some application somewhere. The Kowando effect has been tested before to provide levitation and is successfully employed in some wing designs in special circumstances to increase lift. One approach is to use a centrifugal pump to produce a jet of air which is attached to a lifting surface. While thinking about the problem, I had a flash of insight. What if we combine the impelling surface with the lifting surface? We can design a rotating surface which imparts a spin to a fluid while keeping the spinning fluid attached to the shape. If the flow of the spinning fluid is directed by the shape itself in a certain direction, the object will be propelled in reaction to the induced flow. We call the object you see here an unscrew propeller. It was designed in open SCAD. Like all public invention inventions, it is given freely to the world without seeking a patent monopoly. You can find the design at one of our many GitHub repos. The shape is simply four hemispheres studying the surface of a larger hemisphere to make a lobed ice cream cone. The surface is ubiquitously smooth and has no abrupt changes. No doubt superior shapes can be designed and we would like a volunteer with experience in computational fluid dynamics to investigate that with us. The lobes induce a spin. The spin forces the water out. Since it must stay in contact with the surface, moving out means moving down, that is, towards the tip of the ice cream cone shape. A voxel of water in front of the blunt end of the ice cream cone will be drawn out and around and toward the tip. The water on the conical part of the ice cream cone may experience a force in the opposite direction, away from the tip. However, since the cone is not lobed, this force is smaller than the force of the water coming from the ball. Our very simple test apparatus suggests that the propeller works well enough that it deserves more study. This test does not tell us if the unscrew is as efficient as the screw. Most likely it is not, although possibly it is. We would like to fully investigate the unscrew propeller by measuring its efficiency in water, seeing if it works in air, and finally seeing if it can be used as a generator when placed in a moving fluid stream. If you are interested in volunteering for this project and working with me to explore this, please contact me.